Hello everyone. The name of the presentation is Linear Crypt Analysis of 3AEAD with GIFT 128 as underlying primitives. In this presentation, we start with the motivation and contributions. Following that, we briefly recall some related preliminaries. Then we introduce the linear cryptanalysis of GIFT COFB, Hyena, Sunday GIFT, and GIFT 128. At last, we give a conclusion. So firstly, the motivation of this work. Linear cryptanalysis is one of the most fundamental methods to evaluate the security of symmetric key primitives. Compared to differential cryptanalysis, we find that linear method is more suitable to the analyze of the AEAD since it works under the known plan text attack setting. And this paper aims to evaluate the security of some AEAD with a linear method. The contribution of this work can be divided into four parts. And firstly, we create specialized set problems for the search of linear distinguishers coordinate with the attack setting. With this method, we improve linear attacks on GIFT COFB and Sunday GIFT. Thirdly, we propose the first cryptanalytic result on Hyena. Also, we provide improved linear attack on GIFT of 128. Now we briefly recall some necessary preliminaries. GIFT 128 is one version of GIFT with the 128-bit block size. It is a 40-round SPN cipher and has a cadence of 128. Each round of GIFT 128 consists of three steps. In the sub-cells operation, an invertible 4-bit S-box named GS is applied to every neighbor of the cipher state. Next, the perm bit operation performs a bit permutation operation on the cipher state. At last, the add round k operation includes adding the round k and the round constant. Uh, in this figure, we only illustrate the bits that should be XORed with the round k as adding the round constant does not alter validities of text in the paper. The most important step in differential and linear attacks are finding distinguishers exhibiting non-random cryptanalytic properties. In this work, we explored an automatic method based on Boolean satisfiability problem, or is it set, to accomplish the set the search of linear distinguishers. Mm, the set problem is a problem of determining whether there exists an evaluation for the binary variables, such that the value of the given Boolean formula equals one. Every Boolean formula can be converted into an equivalent formula in conjunctive normal form. Uh, each distinction is called a clause. Each CIG can be a variable, a constant, or the negation of a variable. Since almost all existing set solver accept Boolean formulas in CNF as input, so the distinguisher searching problem should be specified with CNF formulas. Benefiting from the simple but elegant structure of GIFT 128, describing the propagation of the linear mask inside the cipher boils down to tracing the propagation of the linear mask across the S-box. We donate X and Y the input and the output masks of the S-box to encode the absolute value of the correlation we employ two Boolean variables, epsilon zero and epsilon one, so that the sum summation of them equals this value. 
Next, we define a 10 bit Boolean function f, looks like this, and uh, simplify the expression with the off the shelf software Logic Freddy. Then we get a set of Boolean formula that precisely depicts the relation among x, y, y0, and y1. A set from tracking the propagation of linear masks inside the cipher, the set problem should clarify the correlation of the targeted linear trail. Suppose we intend to search for the iron trail with the absolute value of the correlation e no less than 2 to the minus psi. Mm, let yk be the auxiliary variable regarding the JSS box in the S rounds. Then the valid, valid linear trail should satisfy this condition. Uh, this inequality constraint can be converted into a sequence of Boolean expressions with the sequential encoding method. Now let's move on to the linear cryptanalysis of gift COFB. Gift COFB is an AEAD that inst instantiates the combined feedback mode with GIFT 128. The input of the encryption algorithm include a 128-bit key, a nonce, a associate data, and a message. The outputs are several tags, uh, C and a 128-bit tag. The EK function in the figure are referred to as the cipher gift 128. The cipher text generating phase explores the feedback function G, which is a linear function over the 128 bit input. We target the encryption function in the message processing phase highlighted in red. The property of the primitive puts some restrictions on the linear approximation in the linear attack. Um, firstly, since the designers claim 64-bit IND CPA security under the nonce respecting scenario, the data complexity of a valid attack on gift COFB should be lower than, lower than 2 to the 64. Secondly, Note that the most significant 64 bit of the input for the EK function are masked by the value L, and L depends on the value of N and K, and thus is not unknown. Therefore, the verification of the linear relation should be irrelevant with the most significant 64 bits. To accomplish the search of linear approximation, fulfill these restrictions we attempt to encode it with Boolean equations. We create a specialized set problem targeting the conditional linear trail. To begin with, given that GIFT 128 achieves full diffusion after four rounds, we conjecture the maximum number of rounds appended before the linear distinguisher in the attack is three. Regarding the three rounds extended before the linear approximation, we introduce extra variables to locate the bits involved in verifying the linear relation. According to the functionality, the extra Boolean equation in the specialized set problem can be divided into three parts. Um, the first part identifies the necessary bits for the calculation of the linear relation. The second part ensures the irrelevance with the most significant 64 input bits. The last part connects the extended rounds with the linear trail. Now we look into some details. For each S box in the three appended rounds, we introduce four Boolean variables, 
mu zero to mu three to signify whether the four values of the input bits should be known for checking the linear relation respectively. If the value of xi should be known for the verification of the linear relation, mu i is set as one. Likewise, we utilize four Boolean variables, nu zero to nu three, to stand for whether the four values of the output bits are the necessary bits for calculating the linear relation. Since the S-box is a nonlinear operation, the four values of the input bits must be known if any of the four output bits turns into necessary bits. Thus, the newly included variables should satisfy this constraint, and it can be converted into Boolean expressions with a similar approach used for the S-box. These expressions constitute the first part of extra Boolean equations in the specialized set problem. Then donate mu kij and nu kij the variables for the j size box in the s appended round before the linear approximation to make sure that the evaluation of the linear relation does not rely on the most significant 64 bit of the input. We should append 64 equations to the set problem. These equations are the second part of extra Boolean equations. Now, suppose that the input mask of the linear trail in the original set problem is symbol symbolically represented as A0 to A127. The value of the bits masked with AI equals 1 should be known so that we can estimate the validity of the linear relation. Thus, to establish the connection between the affix 3 rounds and the linear trail, we generate 256 equations. These equations form the third part of extra Boolean equations. We apply the specialized set problem to assist the search of linear distinguisher for gift COFB. In the test phase, we observe that the absolute value of the correlation for the optimal 11 round linear trail regarding gift 128 is 2 to the minus 31. Given the linear heart effect of gift 128 is relatively weak, we guess that the data requirement for linear attacks with 11 round approximations may be larger than 2 to the 64. Thus, we utilize 10 round linear approximations to realize k recovery attacks for 3 AEAD. The maximum absolute value of the correlation for the 10 round linear trail is 2 to the minus 26. We find no trail satisfying the specialized set problem if the absolute value of the objective correlation for the linear trail is fixed as 2 to the minus 26 or 2 to the minus 27. When the objective correlation is set, set as 2 to the minus 28, about 70 thousands of linear trails are returned by the set solver but none of them can be used to launch 16 round attacks. So we lower the objective correlation of the specialized set problem to 2 to the minus 29 and discover more than 400 thousands of linear trails. The distinguisher is a unique one achieving the minimum number of gas sub k bits. The ELP of the linear approximation is 2 to the minus uh, 57.68. The data complexity of the 16 round attack is 2 to the uh, 62.1. The total time complexity is 2 to the 122.8. 
the memory complexity is roughly 2 to the 47, and the success probability is about 80%. Now we look at the linear cryptanalyze of hyena. Hyena is the instantiation of the hybrid feedback-based encryption with authentication mode of operation with the cipher gift 128. The input of the encryption algorithm include a 128-bit key a 96-bit nonce uh, associated data and message. The outputs are several text C and a 128-bit tag. The EK function in the figure I refer to as the cipher gift 128. The cipher text generating phase explores a linear feedback function. We target the encryption functions in the message processing phase highlighted in red. There are some restrictions on the linear approximation in the linear attack. Under the nonce respecting scenario, the designer claims that for a valid attack, the data requirement should be less than 2 to the uh, 64, and the time complexity is bounded by 2 to the 128. Beyond that, Hyena also create a 64-bit unknown value data before the associate data processing phase. So the verification of the linear relation should be irrelevant with the least significant 64-bit. To accomplish the search of linear approximation fulfill these restrictions, we replace the second part of extra Boolean equation in the specialized set problem. The turnaround distinguisher is a unique one, achieving the minimum number of gas sub k bits. The linear correlation of the dominating trio is 2 to the minus 28, and the ELP of the linear approximation is 2 to the uh, minus 55.36. The data complexity of the 16 round attack is 2 to the 61.51. The total time complexity is 2 to the 122. The memory complexity is roughly 2 to the 52, and the success probability is about 80%. Next, we introduce the analyze on Sunday gift. Sunday gift is a family of AEAD that explores the scheme Sunday with gift 128 as the underlying block cipher. The encryption algorithm takes as input of 128-bit K, an associate data and a message. The output of the encryption is a cipher text and a tag. Unlike the case in previous two primitive, uh, there, uh, because there is no limitation as the input of the EK function, we propose to attach four rounds and three rounds before and after the distinguisher. The 10-round distinguisher is a unique one, achieving the minimum number of gas sub k bits. The linear correlation of the dominating trio is also 2 to the minus 28, and the ELP of the linear approximation is 2 to the minus 55.36. The data complexity of the 17-round attack is 2 to the 61.51. The total time complexity is 2 to the 123.38, uh, and the memory complexity is roughly 2 to the 49. 
the success probability is also about 80%. In the last part, we introduce the cryptanalytic result on GIFT 128. We intend to attach four rounds and three rounds before and after the distinguisher. All the 8192 optimal 19 round trials with correlation 2 to the minus 59 cannot derive 26 round attacks so we gradually reduce the objective correlation. When the objective correlation is reduced to 2 to the minus 62, we find the unique distinguisher attaining the minimum number of gas sub k bits. The ELP of the linear approximation is 2 to the minus 123.11. After a careful investigation, we notice that the time complexity of the 26 round attack goes beyond 2 to the 128. Thus, we finally launch a 25 round linear attack with a newly identified 19 round linear approximation. The data complexity of the 25 round attack is 2 to the 124.75. The total time complexity is 2 to the 126.77. The memory complexity is roughly 2 to the 96, and the success probability is about 50%. Note that the success probability of the attack can be improved by repeating the entire work with a new group of plaintext ciphertext pairs. Now we finish all the contents in the paper and give a conclusion. In this work, firstly, we create specialized set problems for the search of linear distinguishers coordinate with the attack setting. With this method, we improve linear attacks on GIFT COFB and Sunday GIFT. We propose the first cryptanalytic result on Hyena. Also, we provide improved linear attacks on GIFT 128. That's all for the presentation. Thank you for your attention.